Good evening, people. It's Matt. And the time is now 21.09. And it's the 17th of the 4th, 2017. And again, I believe fully that the, uh, the government is being controlled by the shadow government around the world. They have got these puppeteers coming out with these glamorous lies all the time to uh, dumb us down every single day. I've been away for a couple of days, just for the Easter break, but I'm back now. And I, again, saw the, a red moon on the horizon for two days on the west side, and also uh, stars just didn't look right, and also the halo, again, spraying the, the sun. What they do is they fly near the sun as if they're just normal jets, and then they start spraying right across our sun. They've been doing it now all the time. And the powers to be are hiding Nibiru. They're hiding this true event that's coming. This incoming situation is heading our way. The temperatures are just being erratic all the time. Everything is changing. We're getting heat waves and then we're getting very cold temperatures. The northern hemisphere here in the UK is uh, just erratic. The weather patterns are all wrong. And I'm having reports as well that are weather patterns over the where they are as well over in the USA, America, Australia, many places. Their weather is very strange. They are seeing this halo again in the skies where they're covering these heavenly bodies that are being uh, hidden from us every single day. And I just know that the shadow government are hiding everything from us. Again, government censorship, protecting you from reality. This censorship is happening all over the world right now. So don't believe the hype, because everything that's being pushed in front of us, news media, are all out to uh, put fear up us, to worry us. It's just pathetic lies that the, uh, the government produce to the news media all the time. They're being controlled by governments and powers to be all the time. And again, it's the shadow government. The shadow government are the ones that are in control. Here is that famous image that we all saw that was uh, covered up by Google and the powers to be, they hid it from us. This is a true image of the, uh, the incoming system. Now, again, lots of people had turned it round and said it was something else. It's nothing, nothing to worry about. Just all go to sleep, America and UK and many parts of the world. Not to worry about it. Keep your heads down. Keep watching the... Um, the media TV channels, your iPhones, and just uh, all the PlayStations and other X stations and things. That's not worry about this. Well, I'm telling you now, more and more people are waking up to it every single day now, aren't they? The subscribers, the Nibru community, and millions of people are starting to uh, home in on the uh, the channels that are providing the truth out there now. That's not be dismayed. That's not be. Uh, deceived by those government officials, the military, NASA. That's just keep on track because we all know that the Nibiru system is here, it's incoming. The weather patterns have changed. It's all about the truth now. We need to disclose this. Here, here, on this uh, screen in Chile, 6.9 earthquake happened five hours ago. Now, they are getting more earthquakes as well. Chile has been uh, hammered by earthquakes for the past good few years now, and they're getting more erratic. Now, last couple of weeks, there were 3.2 earthquakes. Now, they're 5.7s and 6.9s. Now, that's a big climbing number, isn't it? These earthquakes, these tremors, are all part of what's going on with our sun. Our sun is hugely affected by this uh, huge celestial body, Nemesis, the binary twin. And Nibiru's out there as well. We've got these heavenly bodies that are out there. There's no denying it now. We need to expose this out to the media and also expose it to many thousands of people, millions and billions of people that are out there that are still being lied to by the uh, government officials. They just believe whatever's been said to them and they're just walking around with their heads in the sand and we need to uh, help these people to save lives because this is a very huge incoming event that's going to occur shortly I believe as I saw the moon as I said before on the horizon it was very red 
and it was very, very low. Something is huge coming close to us. We're still getting those shadows on the cams. Earth's magnetic field is being hugely affected by the Nibru system now. Nibru, the destroyer, Wormwood, has a huge magnetic field. It has a slight atmosphere. It's heading close to our way now. So these earthquakes are still repeating themselves all the time. It won't stop. They can't control the earthquakes. The military, they spray our skies only to try and stop these huge solar flares from attacking our atmosphere. But the thing is, though, everything is weakening now. It really is. Again, we're seeing these, uh, these huge halos. And they, these halos are meant to be covering the Nibru system all the time. They're, uh, they're hiding what's behind that huge chem. There is a very strange halo in the skies. Every single day we're seeing this, aren't we? And it's just to cover those planetary gas giants that are out there. We've got Helion out there as well. Helion's another gas giant from the Nibru system. So it's back to the military where they have been they've been working on this for since the 1940s early 50s they've been they've been tracking the Nibru system the Hubble telescope went up and they found it they found it and they tracked it and they're very very worried about this as well again it's not our government it's the shadow government behind the scenes the ones that control us with the money the taxes but they know that the huge biggest event that caused serious problems to our Earth six times in the past caused a huge pole shift causing everything to finish everything was over completely finished and covered up and then the Earth went through a cleansing time and time again into an ice age and then it starts again we really need to be clear with this situation and it's so important to get all these messages out there to many people because the powers to be, they just want to, as I said before, they want to block the truth, hide the truth from us, as this incoming event is heading very much closer now. It's so identifiable that we look at our skies now and we see that they're being hammered by those chems. Every single day we're seeing them. But again, many other people still think they're just contrails. And I hope that those people wake up soon as when we do see this huge weather change in weather patterns please don't think that it's just a climate change situation because that's a complete hoax that's what they want you to think these government shadow people of the world we just want the huge truth that's what we want the truth it even says here on this uh, this chart, you can see this, can't you? Bear in mind, no matter who occurs. The White House, the next puppet president, has already been selected and would always serve their new world order masters. Their job is to extend the citizen slavery and prop it off the uh, elections. And above all the actors, your vote doesn't mean anything. Election is nothing but a Hollywood production. This is very true. This is to keep your eyes down. These people have just been uh, put on the uh, the screen, so we just basically have a big smile on our face and hope that they're going to help us. They're not helping anyone. They're helping themselves all the time. They're just actors, these people, and they get picked out by the shadow government again, all the time. And it's, again, us, the slaves, that pick up the pieces all the time. We do the hard work, we do the uh, the labour work, grafting at jobs and working our fingers to the bone. And it's terrible because these puppeteers and also the shadow government are walking around in their huge underground cities and their billionaire houses eating caviar, champagne. And it's, as all these... Uh, People like ourselves are struggling every day. It's just totally criminal, isn't it? Here again is a true comment by Albert Einstein. The world would not be destroyed by those who do evil. 
but by those who watch them without doing anything. Very true words. We, the public, need to stand up to these uh, government liars. Every single day when we watch them on the, uh, the TV media here in the UK, Sky, BBC, I mean they're all corrupt. It's a big corporation, a corruption corporation, Fox News, many other news channels around the, uh, the world as well, CNN. I mean, it's all to deceive us. False flag at events, all the time there we are bringing it up and you can see that, can't you? Deceiving deception is just totally ridiculous now how they keep going on doing this, this uh, lime business. Here's another halo from the sun and also that simulator in front of it, the solo simulator. It is a real object and we're seeing this every day and you can see this as you look on the land, look around you when that simulator's up at say 10.30 in the morning and remember back, remember back when that sunshine, that yellow sun was gleaming down on the land and it was a nice day but now we get this dark shadow all the time don't we on the land and this hazy sun. I mean, this image has been modified so you can see clearly this simulator and this uh, halo again caused by this object. Cloaking technology has been used every day up there and I have studied this and looked at the books and information as well and I've spoke to many other channel workers that work channels as well on uh, YouTube and there's some fascinating information that needs to be uh, brought out to the world and again many people are awake to this fantastic subscribers we're all awake to it now and we just need to get others to awake to it as well because we're seeing this dim dimness on the land as well aren't we every single day so please again watch Jeff P channel he's a fantastic guy that's showing true information and he's saying as well the land is dimming and also many other channels so please just uh, keep focused and keep watching those channels as we are heading closer to the truth each and every day now aren't we here's another respectable kind man Dr Harrington who watched and uh, observed this object he knew that Nibiru he knew that the brown dwarf star nemesis is out there he had the truth in his hands he wanted to expose this to the world. It nearly came out again in 1983. News media slammed it shut. The shadow government didn't want it to come out. It's so important that we get these messages out there because these people are now sadly passed away, risked their lives to try and get the information out there. I mean, he got a telescope built for this purpose to track Nibiru. But now the Vatican have got this uh, infrared telescope now that's tracking everything right now it is out there so please don't be uh, dismayed our other people and other trolls and um, chills that will say to you all the time it's not real it's it's fake it's um, it's just a sun dog it's just something else it's uh, swamp gas I mean come on swamp gas don't, I don't I mean just that's just ridiculous this object is huge. We're on a planet. This is Earth. Okay. And it's going round into our uh, orbit now in our solar system with that huge sun that's in trouble now. Big trouble. And Dr. Harrington knew this was going to happen. And that's why it all got hushed up. But now it's all slowly leaking out now, isn't it? That the sun is in its solar maximum. And this situation is a real event situation now because we've got two suns out there now we've got um, the binary twin with that soul our sun and it's time I'm afraid we're having more fireballs that are going past our earth every single day again I've said before about the Sumerians and the Celts as well and other people in the past that seen those heavenly bodies and sadly all lost their lives as that huge pole shift occurred and then huge tsunami waves had washed their lands away, their homes, their houses 
and I believe now if those people were back and they would tell us they would tell us they'd be screaming at us now telling us that the skies are changing and the warning signs are here now those clouds are pink clouds and those other clouds are just burning away they're burnt, being burnt away the hydrogen is coming off them and also that black them strange silvery clouds that just uh, hover around above where the sun is don't do anything and cover the sun as well just a strange black cloud we see every day I mean that's all the protection we're getting right now from our clouds indicating that something huge is wrong right now because our natural clouds in the past would block the sun and protect us so those chemtrails are doing nothing now are they they're spraying the skies fighting a losing battle all the time and also their military pilots they're just harming themselves by doing this but again those shadow government representatives pushing the deception in our faces every day are just harming everything and everyone so I believe that now as the uh, the truth is out there in the skies the end could be near now so we just got to keep keep going and keep showing the truth of what's going on this true man as well attract and noticed these heavenly bodies that are out there and they're incoming I mean this chap done a full interview some time ago a short time ago and he was in tears when he was speaking about this he was in tears he was very very emotional about this you could see his body language on the video as well you'll see this on YouTube this guy knows it's coming but he's been very careful because he doesn't want to be uh, taken away I mean there are so many truthers out there that have uh, dished out the truth and uh, spoke the words and also I mean they've been a situation where it's been so spectacular to know that these people have been open to the world but still again every time they do this the news media slam them down oh it's fake it's not real it's uh, don't listen to them just carry on your day-to-day -day lives this is never gonna happen well let me tell you now this huge life-changing event will occur and it's so evident it's occurred before you can see this can't you I mean there's huge craters on the earth and the moon something went off and that is Nibiru that um, came in and collided with a lot of our planets smashing them around like a bowling alley and it will come again it's heading very close I mean the uh, climate change as again when they keep throwing this every day of the week saying uh, it's all to do with us it's our fault because of um, the exhaust fumes I mean it's all our fault this is what they're saying and Mr. John Moore on his uh, documentary he did some time back was saying all these things will occur and they're occurring now it's happening right now we are shifting right now here's a small diagram where you can see this here this is the orbit of Nibiru and also Earth's orbit so the passing will come and also the degree of the tilt of Nibiru passing Earth so we will tilt and we will go into a pole shift as these heavenly bodies will pass and again I believe that these heavenly bodies will pass shortly because again when I saw that moon it just brought alarm bells to me that I saw a huge difference in the moon being that red on the horizon and again news media didn't report it I mean they come out with that um, that news media report about the uh, the moon size last winter and for everybody to look at that but why are they sh reporting of looking at the red moon right now but I mean the thing is there's lots of things going up there in the sky lots of things and it's so important to look out there at night time just take a look at the stars they just don't seem right anymore the whole system is changing see the 
powers to be and the shadow government haven't got the power of God. Now the man upstairs in the heavens, he is the man that rules everything. And he's screaming at every single one of us right now. He's trying to get our attention. But again, the powers to be are throwing these new technology devices, the iPhones, the news media, all this technology, these uh, brand new cars that keep flooding out to us. Everything, cigarettes, I mean, uh, alcohol, they're throwing everything at us to try and hide us from the truth. And God is screaming at us to say, watch out. He can see Nibiru coming. He can see these um, huge celestial bodies heading our way. He knows that they're coming. There's nothing anybody can do. And all those angels up there are looking down at us as well. And they're just um, wanting us to be aware of this. But we're still again blocked to the, uh, the fake news media lies, the propaganda, and all the government corruption. We are now being spoon-fed all these lies to stop us looking up to the skies. And it's so important as God is telling us the truth. He wants us to see the truth. And that's what we all need to do now. Again, all we're seeing is this object in the sky in front of our sun that's dimming our land. It dims it from uh, 10 a.m. till 3.30, 4 o'clock. We're just seeing this dark shadow, this darkness. That's behind that simulator. We would all see those heavenly bodies. We would all see the shadows of the eclipse of the Nibiru system with our soul, the sun. And then, eventually, it's going to be too late because these heavenly objects will pass our Earth. And this object you see on the screen here will be useless. They'd have to pull it down and take it down. It won't do its job. So in the meantime, it's doing its job right now. So again, it's only a matter of time. And it's only God that knows the time and the date. Our sun is dying. There is pieces coming off the sun. The coronal holes have got really big now. And there is huge solar flares heading towards our Earth every single day. This activity is getting stronger and stronger. It's a time bomb waiting to go off. It really is now. I mean, you could see that fakery of that simulator that's covering it all the time. Now, here on the screen, I'm going to uh, exp just let you know about those Sumerians again. That they didn't have the simulator. They didn't have these uh, chemtrails spraying their skies on Mother Earth. They saw their fate coming. They saw those heavenly bodies out there with the sun eclipsed in it. They saw the dark shadows. They saw the strangeness of the skies. The plant life being affected. The animals being affected. And also humans at the end. The end times are here. And it's a huge natural event. And their evidence is still buried deep underground. And those tablets are true tablets that were showing you the truth. But again, those uh, shills will try and cover and pull the wool just to make you carry on your uh, way of paying your taxes, feeding you lies after lies and laughing at you behind your back as they are still building those uh, secret underground military bases for their comfort for the future. But it isn't going to work because this huge event causes a lot of problems. Now there has been evidence of cities still intact deep under icebergs in Antarctica and the military guard them. They don't want the public to come out and view them. They don't want the public to know anything. So this is how they believe that they're going to be saved if they bury those cities deep underground. Here is an image that was sent in. This is not from our sun. This is from the opposite side of the sun. It's another object. You can see this, can't you, with these uh, thick hems that they uh, plaster above on the sky as well, but the skyline is showing there's a light source. I don't believe this to be a sun dog or any other word that they brought up, and uh, which is new, 
because they make everything up as they go along, NASA do. So what we need to do is uh, keep tracking these uh, light sources that arrive on the horizons all the time. For all of you that have been around since the 1970s and the 1980s, have you ever seen this before, This uh, what they call the sun dogs? Because I haven't. And it's a new thing. So don't be uh, deceived by the media to say that this has been around for years. The news media are now putting this out on the uh, weather channels. Oh, it's a sun dog. I, I, I saw this last week. This chap blatantly said that what, what them words, a sun dog, on the news media. I was actually thrown back by it. So now they're saying this, so they're starting to panic because other people are looking up to the skies now. Because they get told by the government to what to say. This is what God has said in the past. To keep your eyes to the skies as things will change. Look for the signs. These are signs of what's going on. And we're going to see this huge object come by our way. And it's going to be too late. So please prepare for this huge event that's coming soon. Please. Again, also, we see these huge red reflections that are coming on the horizon from Nemesis, the brown of all star. And we're also seeing this uh, object in the sky like a star, isn't it? This will be Nibiru. Now, we all thought, many other thought, that it was Venus. But I believe it's another object that's up there that's um, incoming. When the sun was uh, going down in uh, October, November, December, we were seeing this star come up on the left-hand side. It's not Venus. This is another celestial body. Now, before, back in uh, earlier years, we never saw that object rising that bright, did we? We just saw Venus that was just um, twinkling out there in the uh, in a solar system. We all saw it. We all knew what it looked like. Not this huge glowing orb that was up there. Everything is. Um, being so agitated right now by the system that's coming in. We're seeing changes all the time, aren't we? Remember though, because this video sends a message out that the shadow government are the ones that rule everything. The ones that enslave us. The ones that just make us carry on our way. The ones that take money from our gas, petrol. That steal money off us behind our backs. They're just pulling money from our pockets without us noticing. Taxpayers. That's what we are, and that's what they're laughing at. They laugh at us all the time with this. So, the big message is that these people know that the Nibiru system is coming in. They know that this is a huge event, and they're just stealing from us. And then they will run away down in them cities, lock the door behind them and hope to hide. But you can run, but you can't hide, because this huge events will destroy everything in mankind. There is going to be a huge cleansing soon. A real huge cleansing of this Mother Earth. So don't be played by them. Turn your telly off. Look around you. Look up to the stars. Look round to the skies. See the difference and changes. Look what they don't want you to see. Because it's now truly evident at 10 a.m. it's a good time to look up. You will see those jets heading towards behind those clouds towards our celestial body, sold the sun. And then they turn on them uh, poisonous toxins to try and hide those uh, incoming celestial bodies and to also try their best to stop those CME attacks. As the power grid will go down, there'll be no choice. And when it does go down, that's it. It will be down for 20, 30 years on a big huge attack when these objects start showing themselves. As of, at the moment we're seeing those shadows as they cover our skies every day. So the shadow government are the ones that are prepared. They've been prepared for years. Again they take our taxpayers money to keep us low on wages, low on money. So we can't prepare. We live in our means all the time. The corruption has been going on since the early 30s, 20s. 
Don't be the ones to face a wall. They've been controlling us for far too long now and been getting away with it. Controlling our TVs, our uh, internet, controlling everything. Taking money off us all the time. So please, be awake to this. Don't be stuck on the fence. Because now the time is a real situation as we've got these objects incoming now. And here is an image of the uh, the shadow government that was way back in way back in the day, way back in time. That started the wars, World War One, World War Two, and coming World War Three. I mean, these government shadow corrupt criminals have been getting away with this all the time, and I just want to get those messages out there to show you that um, that we've been fooled. The public have been fooled and we are not going to be fooled anymore with this. We need to now expose these criminals. Right now as we talk now I believe that the uh, the governments Putin and also Donald Trump are uh, talking quite a lot now about um, what's going on. There's been a lot of problems going on as well with uh, war crimes and uh, corruption around the world. There's been more deaths, more bad things happening around the world. I mean there's been more evidence and proof as well that there is now a huge event coming our way as these weather patterns are changing and there has been more wars going off as well. Huge amounts of people that have been uh, having huge problems around the world. And these people know it. These government officials, they know it. And they're dying to tell us. They are so close. But the powers to be are telling them to not say no. They're saying keep the lid on it tight. As uh, the Vatican as well are saying no. They don't want people to know. But Mr. Putin and Mr. Trump know the truth. And it's like a bee in their bonnet. They just want to uh, tell people, the members of the public, to prepare for the huge event that's coming now. Because Nibiru is one huge object that will turn our Earth upside down. So again, please prepare for this and respect to everybody. And I will be back again shortly from Matt Rogers. It's Matt again. It's now 23.45 p.m. And uh, it's now still the 17th of the 4th, 2017. And also what we're going to do is, because uh, Mexico, I do a lot of Mexico chem videos. And it's just very interesting seeing that those uh, chems are being sprayed all the time in the darkness of the sun with that simulator. Because our planet is now dimming all the time. Here on the screen are chemtrails. These large areas. This is over in the USA, and you can see the amount of um, activity that's been sprayed through that day. Because they're being sprayed all the time by these poisons and breathing them in all the time. Another five people approached me today. All had bad colds, didn't feel so right, and never been like that before. The place we were staying on the Easter break. So we're, um, it's just so evident, isn't it? And I did point out to other people at the. Uh, the holiday park and what they're doing up there in the skies and three others spoke with me for a couple of hours about it how they're uh, they've looked up and noticed that they are not they are not passenger jets they are uh, military planes and they're shocked by the way they get but they they fly and spray across our um, in front of our uh, sun and uh, above those clouds so again, we've woken more people up to the whole situation. So anyway, let's try the Mexico cam and see what we can find on there as well for you. Here on this Mexico cam here, okay, the Puerto Vallarta cam. You can see the timestamp there, 7.28 a.m. And something comes down here on the, uh, on the horizon, a red object. This is, uh, I believe, to be the uh, binary twin object. 
the heavenly body that goes down. You can just see a red haze here, but you can see this. Watch this. As I flip through the cam now, you can see this lighting of the sky again, this redness of the sky. Look at the timestamp. It shouldn't be light like this. There is another heavenly body that's coming up, and it comes through. You can see the redness, can't you, now, coming through here. This is not from our sun, this is from another object. You can see how this goes down. Can you see this now? There's other light sources up in the sky that's reflecting behind those chems. Please again don't believe these are natural clouds. These are chems that get spread across the sky. There is an object that moves. Something here that's going down on the horizon. You can see this blue reflection as well. We're getting all these light sources from different other sources in the sky as well. And the bad weather will come. We will get some very strange weather to come in the future. It's just, as I said on the other video, it's a ticking time bomb. In which everything is starting to change. Just want to show you this image as well. This is the uh, another uh, Pareto Vallarta cam, and this is also in Mexico as well. And the reason why I go on the Mexico cams as well is only because in the UK now, being uh, 2352 hours, it's very dark now, but Mexico, we're seeing their daylight skies. So what we're seeing here as well is a simulator up in the sky, and we're seeing this yellow reflection on the sun. This is from our sun, the soul. Now, the reflection is coming from our sun. Now, this object in front of the uh, our sun that's above Earth's orbit is darkening all the ground. You can see this as well. It's just so evident. Getting the blackness on either side as well. Here you will see huge reflections from chemtrails. Red reflections from that. Heavily body, Nibiru. Now, it's very dark on this cam, okay, but when we flick through it, you will see this red and pink haze coming up on the horizon. Can you see this? this these are chemtrails. There's a red object that's reflecting off these chemtrails on the opposite side. This is not from our sun. We are seeing huge light sources that are uh, hammering onto those chemtrails now. We can see the lights. We can see the red reflections of these heavenly bodies all the time. If I show you this, can you see it? And then it comes in. We can see these reflections. It's so important that we uh, spread the word out to show people that what they're seeing is not their natural skies anymore, but these whiskey chems, these poisons, this aluminium that's being spread across our skies just to hide these huge objects that are above the uh, chems. Now, if they weren't there, you would see this object on the horizon. They're covering it to hide the truth. So we just got to keep going. I'm going to go to a different cam. Here is another important image for you. Now, again, I got an email this afternoon when I got back from uh, the Easter break saying that he has seen Nibiru, he has seen the object. And he's uh, preparing, he's packing up his stuff, he's found somewhere else to go. He's taking his family away and he's going to Highland. He has actually seen the object. He's very worried about it as well. So keep safe. And all of you, you must keep safe because now we're starting to see the changes. On this cam you can see the changes. I mean look how dark it is. Look at that golden reflection on the sea. That is from our sun that's been eclipsed by the binary twin nemesis. And in the front of the uh, sun you can see that object that's blocking everything. Look on the land, it's too dark. Pitch black for April, isn't it? I mean, we're in April now, we're heading towards the summer, it's supposed to be very bright. Just look at that beach. It's in darkness. Pitch black. Soon we'll be all walking around with uh, lanterns and candles and uh, torches, equipment to keep everything light. We'll have um, street lights on 24-7. But people still probably think it's normal. 
and they will, they just carry on. The weatherman would just say we're having a dim, dark, cloudy day. But we can just see all, our, all of us that are wide awake to the situation can see that it's all very much changing now. I mean, these cams are not hiding anything. They're showing the truth. I mean, look at it. Just so dark. It's too dim. We are now hugely being eclipsed by this whole situation. This is the, uh, the Acapulco cam in Mexico as well. Timestamp at the top there, 746. There's a huge light source coming here as well. Again, I apologise about the noise on the... I think it's some sort of static that's in the air. Because when I download the videos, everything's fine, but then when it goes uh, up to upload, it just has this kind of static noise. Anyway, so uh, it's not going to stop me, so just carry on. So I'm just showing this light source here, okay? Can you see this lighting up here? Something brightening up. And those redness of chems. I mean, these are all, look at this. All trash is being thrown up there. And this blue haze. I mean, you can see it lighting up the land. 7.52 a.m. You can see how the cam progresses. This light source, can you see this? There's something that's coming in. And I believe this is Nibiru. It's too far too big now. This reflection is getting huge on the opposite side. It really is. And we're all seeing it now, aren't we? It's so evident. This object is coming in very close now. This image of our uh, sun was never seen in the past. We were to see a golden sun that go down on the horizon with blue night skies. But look at it on the screen now. We're seeing this, aren't we, with this uh, halo of red reflections. See, they can't hide it much when it's on the horizon. They blast it with chemtrails. They throw as much as they can with it to the, these halos in the daytime. But on the evening and morning sunrise, we get to see this red halo around the sun. We get to see the eclipse as well. This golden redness on the uh, sea. Very red, these colours. So, uh, it's just spectacular, but as again, people need to be so prepared for this. It's a very serious situation. Because anything, at any point in time, by looking at these cams, can happen at any point. This is a live cam in Apacolco Marina, over there in Mexico. And look at it, you can see those uh, chems just under that um, object, that simulator that's uh, put blatantly up there to make us all believe that that's our sun. But come on, look how dark it is. Look at the glow of the natural sun on the horizon behind that object. And look at the sky, it's very red and very blue. We're getting these two huge reflections. We're not seeing our blue sky anymore, are we? These grey hazy clouds, these chems. Every day it's getting much worse. I've said this all along. You could just step outside tomorrow morning and look at the uh, the sunrise and see what they're doing. I mean, the the time it's the times now, isn't it? NASA, we all know now. So there's no point keep carrying on and hiding and spending our money to spray our skies with trillions of dollars. The military, you're using them. You're using everything to try and deceive us all the time. Because on this cam you can see so evidently what you're doing. Everything in the sky now is uh, dangerous to uh, humanity, dangerous to wildlife. I mean, birds are falling out of the sky. Fish are dying every day in the sea. I mean, the news media turn around and say, we don't know why this is happening. Well, of course you do. You know what you're doing. You're spraying those chemicals every day. I mean, again, very, very dark. On these cams in the past years, in the s spring towards summer, it's very bright. Mexico is a very bright, sunny part of the world. But it's all changing now. 
we're changing everything's changing people have got so much different now than they were before so we just need to uh, keep safe and prepare you really must prepare for this now because this life changing event will affect everybody and it's now a point for all of you to just keep focused and alert to everything that's going on around you now here on this image as well on this cam this is called the Acapulco player El Moro cam in Mexico now this is a very evident cam can you see this red haze on the right hand side this is before sunrise now look at the land as well we're getting this red orangey reflection this is a huge reflection from Nemesis the binary twin when I mean, you could see this before the Sun comes up now normally the Sun will come up it's a yellow bright Sun but we got this red haze that's out there in our inner solar system between us and the Sun and this red reflection is getting closer and much bigger so again we just need to be very observant that this object that you can see that's rising in the sky on this cam is not our Sun our Sun will be a lot brighter than this you can see this can't you on the right hand side of the screen there is something that's rising there and soon we're going to see this object we're all going to see it every single person's going to see it and again though NASA the powers to be will send out news and media reports to say that oh don't worry it's something else or we've just all of a sudden they turn around and say well you know what we've been tracking this object and we're just want to let you know that nothing's going to happen they still cover our eyes all the time they still lie to us until this object will show itself this here is not our Sun this is another heavenly body that's reflecting being caught on this cam just here you can see this can't you this is not our Sun I'm gonna to go to another cam now I'm just gonna stay on this cam shortly for a second or two I want to show you something now these objects are getting, really are getting closer now these uh, reflections they really are now I just want to show you flip through the cam okay you're getting a red haze here on the left hand side but what I want you to notice this this blue light source this other heavily body light source is coming through as well is this the blue kachina and the red kachina because I'm seeing this object just above here I'll show you now can you see this red sorry this red object here and this blue light source these are not from our Sun okay they're not from our Sun our Sun rises just afterwards comes up a different area this is facing north now look at the objects clearly you can see that behind those cams look at the blue light source complete different light sources there now again I just want to get the words out there I really do want to get the words out there to show people that we have these huge objects that are hidden close to our earth right now and I believe NASA's tracking them you will see this now watch this blue light source come through Can you see this red reflection and then you'll see this blue light source come through look look at this can you see this all lighting up blue and you've got the red haze from the other object that's down on the horizon there I mean look at this this is not our Sun our Sun's not even risen I mean look at this two different color objects and they're chemtrailing every day totally ridiculous because at the end of the day they gotta stop it these chems this is a natural event and we have the right to see what's going on we really do have the right to, to know that this is a real event and we need to please we need to prepare for this again on this cam as well you will see a blue light source moving across the sky this is not our Sun Southern Sun hasn't risen yet watch this you'll just see it can you see it lighting up here it's behind this cam this could be the blue Kachina there is a blue object lighting up in the skies behind these chems you can see it so evident there can't you and then dims away can you see this 
this is a celestial body that's up there. I'm going to zoom in. There it is. You can see this object, can't you? This blue haze in the uh, sky on the chem. This CCTV camera is in high definition. They all are. And it's no trickery of the, uh, the camera. I apologize about the white screen. You can see this, can't you? Can you see how it's moving? This object and fades away. It's up there. That object is up there and it's getting closer. We're going to see this huge blue object in the sky. We really will. All of us are going to see this huge blue object illuminating in the skies. And everybody's going to th say, what is that? And then they won't believe government anymore. They won't trust no one. They would only want to prepare for themselves. So again, time is now. Time is running short. Here's another image of the, uh, the soul, the sun, going down on the horizon, with this red reflection around it. But if I flick through the cam to the next stage, it disappears. Look behind those cams, you can see this red reflection here, can't you? Behind the cams. You can see this, can't you? It's just being covered all the time, isn't it? And we've got this other red reflection travelling with our sun all the time. On this uh, Popocatapi cam as well in Mexico, this is a volcano cam. And we've seen other interesting pictures of this volcano cam, but I just wanted to show you something on here. Look again, this red haze up in the sky on this cam. I mean, you've got those uh, cams and you've got those uh, clouds with being in the volcano area as well. You get a lot of build-up of cloud in them. Look at the background, look at the colour. There's that red reflection, that red-orange haze from the Nemesis Binary Twin. And it's much more deeper. These colours are strong. They're getting stronger now, these reflections. So it's quite worrying, isn't it? That these objects are reflecting a lot more stronger now through the years. Every year we're getting the stronger colourings in the skies. As again, it's been very observant to uh, catch these colours. This is the... Uh, the Pubella Panoramic Volcanos Cam. And you can just see these huge light sources, can't you? Now this is going down the opposite side of the sun. Now something is illuminating. The huge reflection is there, isn't it? I mean, it gives it away that, that we've got these objects up there, these lowered clouds as well, that are lowering everywhere. And a lot of channels are showing these dark clouds now in the sky that are quite low. But people still think they're just rain clouds and natural clouds. I mean, this light source you see here is not from the volcano. These light sources are from other celestial bodies. And they are coming in very close now. So, again, please prepare for this. And respect to all of you. And I will do some more videos tomorrow. And take care. And again, I apologise about the sound. I just want to get the... Uh, the words out there, the messages out there to all you subscribers, because you know that there is something that's being covered up in the skies. You know it's Nibiru, Helion, the moons and the brown of all star nemesis. We are in a very serious situation right now and we need to prepare for everything that's coming towards us, because the pole shift will happen. We are shifting, it's just a it's accelerating. Everything is accelerating right now. So take care and speak to you soon from Matt Rogers.